This text effect is a great combination of interesting visuals and very fast and easy setup. To get started, right click in the media pool, go to new fusion composition, hit create, and you could double click on that new fusion composition to jump into fusion. I got a fusion comp open already and I'm gonna use that. And starting off, we will get some text in here, call it whatever you want. Press one to preview that. Let's increase the size, pick the best font in the world to you. So with the text selected, I'm gonna go into shading. I'm gonna click on gradient, click on this arrow to see my colors, click on this one over here, this stop. And I might adjust those colors later. Now what I wanna do is create an edge detect. So I got the text selected, shift space bar, E, D, G, E, edge detect. Press one to preview that. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room here. All right, so let's tone this down. Edge width, adjust the brightness. Let's check on edge mask overlay. I don't want this to be too extreme. All right, so just a little bit of a halo around. That's pretty much what we want. And that's pretty much what we got. Okay, now let's put a very blur in here. So select edge detect, shift space bar, VAR, and you got very blur. Press one to preview that. And this is going to feather the edge and we don't need a lot. All right, something like that. And that's our setup. Now time for the main event. Click very blur, shift space bar, E, X, T, R, and you got extrude. So this is a Crocodove plugin node. Crocodove is a free plugin. You can get it from Reactor and you definitely should. And let's preview it. All right, so I'll set the color to original and we will set the length up here and let's adjust the angle, something like that. And once you've got this set up, you could come back into your edge detect, see if there's any other options here that you like better. I don't want too much of an edge because then my extrusion will be completely washed out. Okay, so your edge detect looks good. You could go into the very blur, see if there's any adjustments here that can make an improvement. Adjusting the blur size will give you more of a rounded bevel. All right, I think this is good though. Let's move on. And what we do is just take our extrude, select it, control C, control V, press two to preview that. What I wanna do here is adjust the angle, but I wanna keep it so that it basically looks like there's a flat top to this text. Copy, control C, control V, paste that, press two to preview this one. I'll just set the angle back. If you wanna start increasing the length, you can. Control C, Control V one more time. Press two to preview that. Flip the angle one more time. And you could come back into any of these extrudes. Go to your light, uncheck light, unless you like it, go to light. And ironically, you uncheck the light and everything starts to get brighter. So we're turning the light effect off and we're getting the full brightness. And your eyes might be burning at this point. What we could do is come back into our text one, start to adjust some of these colors. I'm gonna take this slider over here, click another one. I'm gonna take this and make it a different color. I'm trying to get the top of the text to look a little bit darker. So I might need to bring this slider over and over a little bit more. All right, so now I'm starting to see the tops of the letters. I don't wanna go too far. So let's start bringing this back a bit. And you could do the same thing with the bottom. Maybe I'll shift the hue a bit here. Give it a cooler, darker red, start to shift these around. It's faint, but I'm starting to see that color at the bottom. Okay, so this is the basic idea. You could fiddle around with these until you get your text looking perfect. Maybe this yellow is just a little too bright overall. Bring that down. You could add more colors in the middle. So that's your multi-extrude.